Hold on one second. Have you ever considered what we consume on Instagram or how we can change that? I've been in San Jose for six weeks now and I've experienced so many cool and different things. But when you go on Instagram, you see a different type of picture. Literally. So when you hop onto Instagram search, you look up posts from San Jose, Costa Rica. These are the top nine posts that you see. But I can confidently tell you that San Jose is way more than these pictures that you see. And for someone who's interested in exploring San Jose and they're using Instagram to get a good idea, they're actually fooled and misled. I've taken it on myself to change the top nine posts of San Jose to give a better appreciation and understanding of this beautiful city. Fun fact, most of the coffee is actually made here in Costa Rica, which is a lot different from where we are from the States or anywhere else. This is fresh, baby. The best part about this coffee shop actually is that everything is a free refill. That means you can get two cappuccinos, two lattes, two coffees for the price of one. So most people might find this weird since it's a banana and you're pan frying it, but plantains are really interesting because you can cut them into small pieces, put them on a pan, and then once they're cooked, you have the crispy and the gooey sweet center that makes for a really delicious meal. Next is I think the most iconic meal of Costa Rica, which is the casado. For a small price of $4.50, you can get a plate of chicken, beans, rice, salad, and plantains. And the best part is that the serving size is perfect and you won't fall asleep. There's a really good reason why I have a screenshot of my alarm clock. See, San Jose is located in the equator, which means that the sun comes up really early around five o'clock in the morning. And this makes for an environment where the sun comes up really early and then the sun goes down really early as well. Honestly, the only reason I put this post on is because San Jose has a lot of nice parks, especially this one where there's a track and you can run. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Another fun fact about San Jose is in Costa Rica, in general, is just expensive, including electricity. So when you go into homes, you see a lot of sunlit rooms and very just natural sunlight. Which makes for a really nice sunroom because most of these houses have kind of like natural lighting installed within the house. So that way they don't have to spend as much money on electricity. Um, and it's really nice. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm, I wasn't gonna drink this, but you know, back in the States, my my hot sauce of choice is Sriracha. I put that on everything, but here they have Liz, Lizano, Lizano. Um, and it, it, it's like this like brownish green color. It, it looks, it, it looks kind of gross, but it hits all your taste bud at the same time. And it's just pretty amazing. I can literally drink this stuff if I had to. Here's something random. Why does pasta cost so much? It's literally $4 for a pasta sauce. That doesn't make any sense to me. And since I'm in San Jose, which is the capital of Costa Rica, you know, you, you would expect there to be a lot of trains, which you see right there. But there's something that's really interesting about this that I need to share. The train tracks are there. Restaurants, residents. Restaurants, residents. And what's really interesting is that these train tracks are about two blocks away from my Airbnb. So every single morning, I am woken up at around 4.30 every single day, no matter what, Monday through Friday and then Saturday, Sunday. The last nine posts that you've seen will never make the top nine because that's not how Instagram works. It works based on how many likes you have and depending on that, you get on the top. But collectively, all of these are what makes Costa Rica, San Jose in particular, amazing. Instagram is becoming incredibly popular across the globe and it is also a way for us to express what we see and express our creativity. We need to remember also that people around the globe are looking up locations and trying to get a good understanding of what that culture is. So it's really important for us as our personal responsibility to take ownership and actually express things that represent the culture. Hashtag stop posting half naked pictures to get likes, hashtag savage, hashtag thanks for watching.